Welcome back. It's Independent Candidate Week. Green Party candidate Jill Stein just picked up a huge endorsement from Susan Sarandon, who's still shattered that Hillary Clinton nabbed the nomination away from socialist Bernie Sanders. Democratic faithfuls are reportedly getting nervous about Stein's impact on swing states, saying in places like Nevada or North Carolina, a vote for Jill is just as good as a vote for Donald Trump. Is she a spoiler? It is day three of our third party candidate week, so let's ask Jill herself. It's Green Party nominee, Dr. Jill Stein. Welcome back. Great to be with you. So let's talk about this a little bit. I mean, I guess I'm surprised that the mainstream media has taken an interesting, authentic candidate like yourself. They were so obsessed with Bernie Sanders. And you've got someone, the embodiment of this new and interesting mm -hmm. political tapestry, and they have essentially ignored you and smothered your candidacy. What do you think about that? Uh, I think it speaks volumes that they are a house of cards which is falling down. My campaign is a very inconvenient truth yeah. that there is a politics of integrity out there. People, you know, have really had enough with these candidates from the very start. They were the most disliked and distrusted candidates in our history. And every day now, there are more revelations about how both of them are, you know, uh, walking, talking uh, scandal machines. Yeah. And people are clamoring for something else. Seventy-six percent of voters wanted to have open debates. They wanted to know about these two other candidates yeah. who are their choices. The corporate media, uh, the apologists for the Democrats and Republicans, and the political pundits are doing everything they can to intimidate people yeah. into... Uh, voting for the system, yeah. throwing them under it's the bus. It's submission. It's a cartel. The Commission on Presidential Debate should be ashamed of themselves. Yes. Uh, you actually agreed to come on this show and debate Gary Johnson. He would not agree to that. And, over and, and I, over. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to see you guys go head to head on some of the things you agree on and some of the things you disagree on. Now, Susan Sarandon, she was a, a full-throated Bernie supporter, says she cannot vote for Hillary because of the corruption, the fact that uh, she is so against legalizing marijuana, and that she will not support a $15 minimum wage. And the warmongering. Yeah. You know, Hillary uh, brought us Libya almost single-handedly, and she has said that she will lead the charge with a no-fly zone in Syria, and that basically amounts to a declaration of war yeah. against Russia, who is there under international law, having been invited by the sitting government. Like it or not, Russia has the sanctions of international law to be there, for us to go in and declare a no-fly zone means get ready for war with Russia. Both of us have yeah. 2,000 nuclear weapons on hair trigger alert. This is the most dangerous moment, according to the former president of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, yeah. who two weeks ago said this is the most dangerous nuclear moment Yeah, ever. I mean, we have to ask ourselves what happens when Russia violates that no-fly zone. What no would a, a President Hillary Clinton be prepared to do? Now, it's interesting because Ron Paul um, on MSNBC and on this show talked about why libertarians would find your candidacy attractive. And he talked about your stance on, uh, on involvement in the Middle East specifically mm -hmm. and foreign policy and also on civil liberties. There are plenty of areas where you and traditional libertarians diverge, but left-leaning libertarians uh, could be most intrigued by your candidacy. Absolutely. And, you know, we did have a forum with Gary Johnson uh, on PBS, and that's available on our website and on our social media, Dr. Yeah. Jill Stein or Jill2016.com. But that's all he agreed to do, just yeah. this token of a debate. We were offered so many debates, including, you know, here on Fox. Yeah. And I would challenge him, now that my campaign is coming up in the polls, according to today's uh, CBS New York Times poll, we're at 4%. Yeah, you're at 4, Gary's at 5%. 5%. Percent. The American right. public deserves to know that there are our alternatives to this incredible, scandalous, corruption-ridden uh, campaign that is being forced down our throats between yeah. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Let's talk about the Clinton campaign and what they've done to Bernie Sanders. You know, if, if I found out that someone was feeding questions to my opponent before a debate, I don't think I would go out and stump for them. Do you think that he sold out by, by going out and appealing to his supporters to vote for her? 
you know, in my view, he's made incredible compromises yeah. to uh, keep his peace with the Democratic Party. Uh, but why? I, what does he get oh, out of that? Yeah. I mean, he's been a politician for long enough. I agree. He, he can be a principled human being without giving in to the establishment that he railed against. So, you know, two things. Number one, I think he's been in Washington, D.C. too long, and he kind of sees things through that bipartisan lens, but it's bipartisan tyranny to most of the country. Yeah. Second, you know, I think there may be some generational things going on here. And third, actually, uh, he's a team player. He's a man of his word. That's what he said he would do from the very beginning. Yeah. I respect his decision, but as he sa himself said, uh, this was a movement and not a man. And his movement, uh, at least those whose eyes are open, are not going quietly into this dark night. What he showed us is that you cannot have a revolutionary campaign inside of a counter-revolutionary party. That's why the Greens are here. Yeah. So many from the Bernie campaign have come into our party. Yeah. I saw how excited they were to embrace you at yeah. the DNC in Philadelphia. Dr. Jill Stein, thank you so much for spending time. Appreciate Great to it. be with you, Ken. All right, we'll see how everything pans it's out. It's not over. No, yeah, it's, it's certainly it's not. It's just begun. The five craziest days are yes. just upon us. Don't throw your vote away. No. Invest your vote in a real movement for a transformative future. Amen!